Zoom sessions. Um, I know that if you're like me and this is now your the reality of your world, staring at people in little boxes, you really would prefer to do something else besides stare at people in little boxes. But I will confess, I would rather stare at you guys in little boxes than not see you at all. Um, I don't want to speak for the entire uh, admin committee, but uh, I would be surprised if they don't agree. The last two years and trying to figure out how to have the conversations continue, how to have this community move forward without our legendary conferences has been quite a struggle. Um, when the pandemic first hit last spring, we tried so hard to figure out a way where we could still do our thing. And we, we met, uh, we had Zoom calls, we swapped spreadsheets around, we said, how can we actually do this in a way that is safe? And the answer, the painful answer was, we just couldn't do it. So like everybody, we were silly enough and we thought, oh, let's just push it off till fall because this whole pandemic thing will be done by then. And now we are a year plus later and the whole pandemic thing has not, is not over. Um, we're slowly coming out of it, depending on where you are in the world. Um, you may be in a better place. You may not be in such a great place. And so what we really want to do is to make sure that this next four days is really comfortable for people to be able to join, especially if this is your first I assist conference. Welcome. This is not what we usually look like, but that doesn't mean it won't look like that in the future. Um, I know that I have gotten feedback from several folks saying that this has made it so much easier for them to be able to connect. And I think there's a couple of things in the, in the chat window to say the same thing. It's a lot more accessible if you can, you know, just wear your sweatpants and, uh, and you don't have to get travel approved. So for that, I am very grateful for people to be able to, for us to be able to be more inclusive. It does miss some of the flavor that um, we've had in previous conferences for those who have had the opportunity to attend in person in the past. You know that um, we're a phenomenally fun bunch and we're going to do our best to actually make that obvious through um, this two dimensional um, aspect. But yes, like everybody else, I do miss seeing people in 3D. Um, I do miss having the opportunity. I, I, I want to hug people. I'm a hugger. This has been so painful. So for those of you who are not huggers, but would be tempted to be hugged by me, um, you can breathe easier because I can't hug you yet. Um, I also, I also miss, for those of you who remember, I miss the dancing because that's my thing. So we're going to try and throw some um, added fun things into the four hours of Zoom. We know how taxing this is. So that's the number one thing I want to make sure everybody's aware of. Zoom fatigue is a real thing. Um, anybody who thinks they can multitask um, should have learned since this pandemic began that that's actually <laughs> not a thing. Um, you can make it look like you're doing more than one thing at a time but you're not actually doing more than one thing at a time. Um, unless that's just a, a quirk with my brain, which is entirely possible. So I ask that you do what you can to be present for the presenters. For those of you who have done these kinds of presentations before, you know how difficult it is to actually gauge um, engagement and, and the way you're hitting your mark. I just finished teaching my undergrad predictive analytics course online. And I gotta tell you the whole five people who turned on their cameras all semester out of 65, they were super engaged behind their masks. But um, it's really difficult to know when you're hitting the mark, when you're not. Um, and we've got a lot, a lot of expertise and a lot of sharing people and caring people who want to share that with you. So to the extent that you can, please give them your ultimate. Now, we did not build into the um, into the schedule, you know, I don't know, bathroom breaks. Uh, we got to mute people. There we go. I'm just I'm muting you all. <laughs> I have the power. 
just to be quite clear about that. Not only am I president, it's my Zoom link, so be nice to me. Um, but anyway, so please, please, please participate to the best that you can and the, to, the, to the amount that you're most comfortable. Um, these sessions are being recorded. So if you have some issues with that, we're gonna have to have a, a different conversation. Everybody should have been alerted that the recording has started and that you have consented and you can insert your privacy jokes right here. All you California and European people, um, I'll talk to you about that, that later. Um, and so let's just pretend to the best that we can that we are here to continue to engage to continue to share and to actually um, make the connections that, that we're so used to having at an ISS conference. And so before I turn over and let Abe like show me up about how fun he is compared to me, this president thing. <clears throat> now, nobody told me that pandemics were part of signing up for uh, leading an international organization. So, um, so thank you for giving me the opportunity to try it again the second term. I'm determined to actually make it to an in-person conference as president for the entire time, um, which we have not yet done. But just to get started, um, I will, I'm, I, I tried to put together a quick poll. <gasps> I know we all have survey fatigue, but let's uh, let's see if we can do this for fun. So um, I'm very curious about how people have been working during the pandemic. And did I actually launch the poll? There we go. Um, so I would like, this is anonymous. Don't worry, I don't wanna get a, mess up anybody's privacy issues, but I'm just curious is how have you been working during the pandemic and what will be the biggest challenge if or when you have to go back to work? So what do we got? Hopefully you guys can find the polling. There we go. There we go. And like good data people, we're getting an amazingly good response rate. Thank you. I know it's not a particularly difficult one. Um, I did hopefully you didn't have to think about whether or not you've actually been to work. Um, I see that uh, that not everybody has the same problem as me. I don't know what I'm going to do when I have to actually wear shoes again. Um, I have spent the last year and a half in slippers. And the other thing I was going to ask is for those of you who have pets, how many people are going to have pets go into um, some sort of trauma when uh, when they you actually leave the house and they're alone. <gasps> My dog, I think, is going to become suicidal. All right, excellent. So it looks like we've all been cooped up staring at little boxes for a really long time. And we may or may not um, have clothes that fit us anymore. Um, you are in good company. This is just a, a, a little introduction to remind you that regardless of what time zone you're in, regardless of what continent you're on, pretty much all of us have been facing these un incredible challenges. And we want to take the time today um, and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday to bring a little sunshine into your life. Um, there might be singing, there might be dancing, there, there will definitely be all kinds of um, shenanigans to the extent that we can do it um, virtually. So I'm going to turn this off and stop talking and say, I welcome you all. I am thrilled to pieces that we actually are able to do this. And now I'm gonna let the real entertainment start. Abe, are you ready? No pressure, right? No pressure at all. No pressure. Yeah, you know your camera's not on, right? My camera's not on? No. His camera's on. Why I can't see it. He's probably on another page saying we've got six pages yeah. of Zoom screen. No, me, I am huh? looking at a square box that says Abe with no face in it. Let me oh, see. We see Abe. <laughs> Maybe it's just you, son. Spotlight me. Spotlight me. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. Either. Please be patient as we work this out, because none of us are really good at this. I don't All see right. him either. This is the best part of every Zoom meeting. Yeah. Please unmute. Please unmute. There, oh. I spotlighted you. Mm. Can everyone see me? Yeah, you had a big frozen on your screen, Zoom bingo, yikes. All right, welcome everybody to ISS 2021, our global, international global conference. Um, my name is Abe Israel. I am a 
a, a director at ICPSR, and I have a bunch of things to share with you. But as San mentioned, um, it is very difficult to do uh, events virtually and try to connect with people. So I'm gonna try to do that as best as I can. Um, one thing that I, I came across that I thought was really impactful, I wanted to start with kind of like a song that represents what we've been through and to recognize everything that we've, we've, we've experienced during this whole pandemic. Um, but I also want to recognize that it's gonna start off like very um, emotional, but it's gonna be uplifting at the end. So I promise you it's gonna be great. Again, if I call on you during this, this presentation, during this talk, please just play along, talk along and, and have fun, all right? I tend to be really like high energy, so that's great. All right, um, on behalf of the West Coast, yep. So um, for those who are just waking up, welcome. <laughs> for those who've been up because they have uh, a little infant, like a 10 month old, like I do, um, good afternoon. <laughs> right. It's been one of those years for us. Um, during this, this session, I'm going to do a number of different things. First, I'll start with a little bit of housekeeping. Um, I, I looked at uh, a, a conference like this. You, you, you realize that some people may not know the technology that, that you work with. So I want to talk a little bit about Hoover, how it works and what you can actually do within it and how you can interact with people. <laughs> people are saying there please post the song i will i will i will again i'm gonna type it in the chat it's called hello by kes and drop your soundcloud brah of course of course of course hello kes uh, by advocate productions um it's it's amazing yeah alex is with links like that i love it i love it love it all right so let's get some housekeeping done i'm just going to share my screen talk a little bit about what hoover can do then I'll talk a little bit about how you can maximize this conference. And then we're going to have some interactive experiences here. And hopefully we have some fun before we have our, our session starting at 10 um, Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, let's get going. So I'm just going to share my screen real quick. And um, this is what I want to do, maybe. Um, Boom. All right, cool. Let me just maximize the screen. All right, can you all see the, the screen? This should bring you to what Hoover is looking like. Um, Hoover is the, the app that we're using for the conference. I just wanted to talk about some things that you can do here and so that you can maximize the conference in your own special way. All right, so you should come in and it should give you the home icon, the agenda attendees, all those things. The one thing that I would suggest you do if you can I would suggest changing the top here from the event time to your local time because that threw me off this morning. So if you can change it, it would help you in the long run. Otherwise you will not be scrambling like I was this morning. All right, second thing that you would see is the agenda. The thing with the agenda is that it breaks down all the things that are happening right now and throughout the week. I'm gonna to touch a little bit how you can use that. So with the agenda, you can click on it and you can find out more details because otherwise you would not have been able to get here. But one cool thing is that you can actually add things to your agenda. One thing that I would suggest you add to your agenda is the lunch social hour. You should definitely add that to your agenda and you can add it to your calendar. We have something called Kumo Space that we're gonna be utilizing during that, that time. And I would strongly suggest that you come because it is going to be a blast. What it is, it uses a technology called uh, spatial audio. And if you haven't used it before, I don't, want to, to, I don't want to spoil the surprise. So just join us in Kumo Space. The link should be provided in the actual um, the agenda. So it's actually kumospace.com slash ISS2020, but the link should be available there. Add it to your agenda. Trust me, you're not going to reject, you're not going to Gonna, gonna want to miss something like this. It's gonna be great. And we're gonna be using this technology throughout the week. Plus we will have it open for anyone to be doing things that they want. If they wanted to meet in person, or oh, sorry, meet um, over Zoom or meet uh, in this virtual space. Trust me, once you start using it, you're gonna get addicted. So I'll strongly suggest you do that. All right. You should also go through the week, find out exactly what you want to, to attend. There's quite a few conference uh, presentations here. Oh, I see Ron is here. I might add that to my conference too. Um, sorry, Ron is here. Uh, I think, is Paula here? If Paula is here, I'm one to sit into Paula's thing. She's amazing. But yeah, so the agenda, you'll play around with it. And 
add things to your agenda and you it will show up on your list of things that you have on your agenda. Next thing that is on Hoover is that you have a list of attendees and you could potentially even search for the attendees, whatever you want. I'm at ICPSR, so you can technically search at ICPSR and see who else is ICPSR is here in the conference or whoever is else at your location. So check it out. There's quite a few of us ICPSR people here. So you can turn around, look left, look right. You're probably gonna find one of us, okay? Um, the third thing that you have is this community tab. Um, it breaks down all, it's like a chat box and it has all the different questions and answers and things like birds of a feather that you can join. The one thing with birds of a feather, this is something that people, um, you propose a bunch of ideas that people are very, sim like they're thinking about similar concepts and they can propose ideas where people can meet and discuss. I strongly suggest adding something to birds of a feather or attending it, it's happening later this week. So you don't want to miss that either. Also, there's something called Ask, Ask Organizers Anything. Um, with this, if you run into any problems, send a message there. Uh, Stephanie and the team will be able to respond. Hope I, I think they respond pretty immediately too. So if you run into technical issues, send a message there. And um, if you just want to say hi, say hi too. Hey. All right. Next is where all your messages live. And I can send a message to Stephanie. Say hi, Stephanie. And it shows up and it's kind of like instant messaging and Stephanie will see it and she'll say, hi, I'll be back and, you know, fun stuff. So you can do all of that within the application. Hi, <laughs> wait, hold on, did she respond already? Hi, Stephanie, hi. All right, third, uh, sorry, almost last thing is this thing called photos that you, you also want to see. Let's close this one, go on messages and then back to photos, right. In photos, you can upload an, a series of, of pictures. So this is a way of, of capturing the moment. If you have pictures of you listening to some of these workshop presentations, um, uh, attending the Birds of a Feather or even the happy hours, those kind of things, you want to go in, you can click upload and you can choose a photo. Let's just see what I want to upload. Maybe I have something fun. Um, on my desktop, I have ISIS. Boom, I think this one is good. Yeah. This is ISIS in Zoom, boom, and capitalize Zoom. And there's a bunch of people here, so I'm not gonna attack anybody. Um, and it's like that, it's uploaded and you can also share it to Twitter if you want. Um, I would strongly suggest adding stuff because it makes it more real, right? People are connecting and you have the experience, why not? It's there and uh, we can go through some of these pictures uh, later on and be like, hey, this is a really cool picture. You wanna upload a picture of you and your puppy? Go for it. Um, and then finally, I'm just going to touch about these things really quick. There is a leaderboard. If you do a number of things in Hoover, you can see what the leader is done. And I think Paula, oh, Paula is in the lead with 9,100 points. You can add different things like topics, pictures, uh, respond to things, uh, answer polls, that kind of thing, you get points. It's a nice little kudos game. Um, oh, Barbara is second. Congrats, Barbara. Um, and then, uh, yeah, play around with, with the, the leaderboard and a number of different things that you can play around with. Finally, you can go on the question and answers and all those things, but the last thing that I wanted to touch on on Hoover is this Twitter aspect of Hoover. Hopefully you can still see it. It uses the hashtag ISIS2020. So if you're doing anything during the conference, make sure you use the hashtag and it pops up in this nice little feed. It is, I think, an infinity scroll. So you'll see things in uh, Twitter. So with that being said, that is Hoover. Any questions about Hoover before we drive in, dive into the actual fun stuff about here? Yeah, Abe, can I, uh, can I chip in for a second? Maybe you can share your screen again. We've got another place to collect photos. Sure, let's do it. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's a link on the message board called Your Year in Photos. While let's it's great it. to be able to collect the, the stuff from this conference, Mm -hmm. um, we, it, we have a tradition in ISS that we have a closing slideshow and mm -hmm. it would be a lot easier for us to be, for us and that, by that, I mean me, um, no, 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 into the, in, into mm -hmm. the community. In community. Yep. Got it. There we go. Yeah, and in there's photo. here in a photo. I would love if people were interested to use this Google form to submit a picture that represents what your year has been like. 
Um, if we get enough entertaining ones, you'll make it into our closing slideshow. That is still a thing. We may take some of the ones from the conference as well. But I really wanted, I was really hoping to have the closing slideshow be um, a way of making up for all of the, the interactions that we haven't had a chance to have over the last year and a half. So I would, I would really, really, really love to, um, to get pictures that people are willing to share. This would be a good place for your puppy pictures if that has been your life for the last year or your small children, if they, especially if they are new small children um, and things like that. So keep your, uh, please keep that in mind. I would love to be able to share everybody's insights during our closing ceremony. Thanks, Abe. No problem. Thank you, Sam. All right. Good stuff. And there will be pictures posted. Awesome. All right, cool. So now I want to get to know who is in the room. And um, one thing that I did when we were in uh, Sydney last year is I was just basically calling on people to introduce themselves, say, hi, my name is this, and I am most excited about ISIS. I'm from wherever, right? All right, I will start, and then I'm going to pick on people. Or if I have volunteers, we can have some volunteers. Yeah, we have Stephanie already do that. I know Sydney was two years ago. That's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, oh God. Oh, okay, Sydney was two years ago. It was amazing. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. It was it was awesome. It was awesome. If you have been to Australia, it was awesome. All right. Um, the thing is, I want to get to know you all. And being an extrovert like myself, I try to just squeeze as much information out of people. So I'm going to volunteer some information myself, talk a little bit about myself, and then I'm going to see who else is willing to share something about themselves, whether it is start with, hi, my name is this. I am from this either institution or this country or this place. And this year I am interested in this for ISS. I'm interested in X. I'm most excited about X. Okay. So again, my name is this. I'm from this location and I'm most excited at ISIS for this. That's all that you can need to do. That's all. And I already have a volunteer. Stephanie is my first volunteer. So I'm going to pick on you. And then Stephanie, what you can do is pick somebody else and we'll do it about 10 times so that people get used to it. And then we move on to the next part of this session because we have a little, we have a little bit of time. All right. So what all right. To... wait, let me, let me start first. Let me give okay. you the right. Oh yes. Me... We need to find out a lot about you. Okay. Let, let me talk a little bit about myself. So, Hi, my name is uh, Abe Israel. I'm from ICPSR. I'm a director of products. I've been at ICPSR for about 14 years now. And my job involves uh, taking really cool ideas and making it into a reality with technology. Um, I really enjoy what I've been doing. And I've been visiting, I've been part of ISIS for a number of years. And I really, really love this conference. The thing I'm mostly excited about is just connecting with all, with friends that I've seen and looking forward to, to seeing some cool things that people have been doing. Um, my thing is, I'm really, I really like the connection with people. And that's basically it about me. Yo, did you also tell them that you're a DJ? Mm. Yeah, and you're from Trinidad too. <laughs> and I like long walks on the beach. I like good music. I like to travel. Oh, I like to do all these nope, things. Nope, oh, no, nope. no, 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 no. Nope, 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 You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Oh my God, sorry about that. Sorry about that, everybody, sorry. Sorry, sorry, and you're also a new dad. Say hi, Ryan. All right, all right. We'll see you in the next one, bye. Say hi, Ryan. Oh my God. So that's me. That's me in a nutshell. You met Ryan. You met the other part of me, which is DJ Adrenaline. And now, to you, Stephanie, let's hear what you got and then call on somebody else. Well, I wish I had known that we were getting elaborate. I do not have some extra fancy slides. Um, I'm gonna have to remedy that for later in the week. Um, so hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Labou. Um, I'm one of the organizers of this conference along with Stephanie Tully. So we are the Stephs and we are happy to bring you this conference. I am at UC San Diego in the library where I am the data science librarian. Um, so I was new to ISIS in 2019 in Sydney, and as soon as I got there, I thought, these are my people. These are just fun data people. 
They are excellent. We had fascinating conversations. There was a big party on a boat. It was great. So I am super excited to see everyone again. And I'm very excited by the discussion that's already been happening about the data literacy for undergrads, birds of a feather. I'm also very interested in that. I think it's a hot topic. So with all the amazing presentations we have, I'm also excited to see what we have for, for birds of a feather and kind of share ideas and spend some time with this wonderful community. So um, for people that, for the person I'm gonna pick, this is someone that I think everyone who joins ISS should know, and this is Bob Ray. So I'm going to pick on Bob Ray. Hopefully he's willing to participate. I saw his name. So um, Bob Ray, please introduce yourself if you're willing, because I think everyone who's an ISS should have a chance to meet you. Uh, thanks, Stephanie. And this is not planned. I actually did not know this was happening. Um, I'm Bob Ray Bordelon. I'm at Princeton University. I had data and statistical services there. Um, I've been there 27 years almost. And um, I've been an ISIS member for a very long time. Uh, what am I excited about? Uh, first and foremost, at least seeing little uh, pictures of you. Uh, for those of you that are on the administrative committee, uh, and I'm uh, part of the group that represents the United States, um, I get to see you, but many of you I have not seen in a while, and I really look forward to future ISIS where I get to meet you. Um, I'm going to put in a plug, uh, myself and Abe and Amy Pianta, who is the co-chair of professional development, and Sarah Young. Uh, we have the professional development committee, and we're really looking for things. This is an amazing conference that is coming up, but we want to keep this going all year long. So please let us know how we can uh, provide information for you. And Stephanie's, I will hold it to the double food, even though we normally get so much food at, a, at an ISS that I don't know how I will do it. But those that know me know I will find a way to do it. So I am going to pick on um, Susan Mowers. We're gonna to go to oh. Canada. <laughs> hi there. Uh, hi everybody, I'm uh, Susan Maris. I'm uh, from uh, Ottawa, Ontario, University of Ottawa. And uh, I've been a data librarian since uh, 2009 and actually an ISS member before then. And uh, um, yeah, really so excited to uh, see everybody here. I think that is my main reason for being here. And uh, um, I'm so, um, so grateful to the organizers for organizing this. It looks uh, fantastic and uh, off to a great start. Thanks. You got to pick somebody, Susan. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I'm going to pick uh, Sandra Sawchuk. <laughs> Thank you so much, Susan. It's nice <laughs> to see your face here. <laughs> Um, I'm so lucky I get to work with Susan uh, on a big project that we're working on. So I get to see her all the time, but I don't get to see all of you all the time. My name is Sandra Sajak. I'm coming here from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm a librarian at Mount St. Vincent University. Um, and I'm actually presenting in the next session, the first session. So I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, I've been a member of ISIS, I think, since I became a professional librarian in 2017. Um, but I had attended ISIS as a grad student uh, before that. Um, and I was so lucky to get to go to Bergen, Norway. And I just want to say happy birthday to all the Norwegians that are here, if you are here, because I know it's your special day today. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it. That's me. So I'm just going to pick a random list, uh, a random name from the list just to put someone uh, on the spot. Let's go for Chelsea Goforth. Hi, Chelsea. Uh, it's you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I am Chelsea Goforth. I work at ICPSR and I've been here for a little over two or uh, actually close to two years now. 
Um, I am excited because this is my first eye assist. I um, applied uh, a while back and I'm, I'm excited to give a presentation on Wednesday, but of course every, everyone's plans last year fell through. So, um, so I'm excited to, uh, that despite the virtual environment to get to all, know you all a little bit better and, and to see what other exciting presentations are on the agenda. You gotta pick somebody. Chelsea. Oh, right. I have to pick someone. That's right. That's right. Uh, let's see here. How about um, scroll through the list here? How about oh, I see Catherine. Catherine Lavender. <laughs> How did I know you were gonna pick me? You've got you've got good ESP there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Chelsea. Hi, everyone. I am Catherine Lavender. I am at ICPSR with the Aging Archive with an ICPSR. It's called NACTA, but so many of our acronyms start with NA. Just re remember Aging Archive. That's what I manage. And I've been with ICPSR for 13 years. I actually shared an office with Abe for a good part of my first couple years with ICPSR, and I definitely miss that. Uh, I am most looking forward to the sessions, um, there's some great sessions. And, and I think that this opening session, it, you really did a great job. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, it'll, it'll just be good to see everyone's faces and, and participate. Thank you. And I think, let me see, I guess I'll pick in a similar way randomly from the list. I'm not looking to see if you have your camera on. So everybody beware. How about, why is this so much pressure? Rebecca Kaplan, you're up. <laughs> Call them, I love it, Captain. Call them. Hi, um, my name's Rebecca. <laughs> I, um, I also work for ICPSR. Um, I'm a data curator. And um, this is also my first iAssist conference. I just uh, started at ICPSR in October of last year. So I'm really excited to be meeting everybody and uh, learning more. Um, so who else? Um, Um, We're also letting people self volunteer in the chat and then those yeah, of us yeah. who've been in ISIS for a while are going ahead and volunteering people that we think should introduce themselves. So if you want to pick at random. Absolutely. If not, I'm going to start just picking people in the chat. Um, I think I think Paula or Toon. Oh, both of them can work. I think um, Sorry, I'm having trouble reading that. Um, Paul, uh, somebody just volunteered Paula Lackey. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Paula Lackey. I'm a Carlton uh, in the U.S. and um, uh, the yeah, the tiny Carlton, not the big Carlton, the little teeny Carlton. And uh, I'm really excited about seeing all the people I haven't met yet because um, they can come for the first time. I think that's wonderful. I love the in-person conferences. I always get rejuvenated. And I, I'm already kind of jazzed just from the workshops last week. So this week, I'm totally pumped. I'm, I'm absolutely ready. And um, yeah, we have a session on Thursday late. It's the third session, so it's right before the the grand finale, um, and it's flipped mostly. We have one one talk, and then we're going to flip it. So we have some videos you can watch in advance, and that's all about uh, undergraduate education. So I'm going to put that plug in, and um, I'm going to choose Tune. Are you around? Come on, Tune. Turn your camera yeah. around. Yes, I am. Ah, there you are. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I am just um, excited to be here. I am Adetone Oyelude. I'm from the University of Ibadan. And um, 
I'm a librarian. I'm the deputy university librarian now. I got a promotion in January. And um, yeah, <laughs> yes, it's exciting. I have a new schedule. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bob Ray. Yes, I'm excited to be here. Of course, I would have preferred to be there physically. There is nothing like a physical conference, but I'm sure we're going to have a great time um, doing this. And um, somehow it's a challenge because it's a uh, you know, pandemic time. And I think we can still, still actually get the vibe that we would get if we were physically meeting each other. And so, um, yes, I'm glad to be here and I hope to be in as many sessions as I can manage to be. As usual. Cheers. Thank you. And Thank you so too. whom would I choose now? I have to pick somebody, right? Yeah, one, the last person, and then we can go back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Do you want me to pick somebody? I, yeah, I'm not you, sure you have the last okay. pick, so make it good. Um, whom do I pick now? Do I have uh, Florio there? Oh, Florio, yes, good choice. Yeah. Yes, I'm there. here. Let's Thank Florio you so come. much, Adetun. Great, Florio. <laughs> Adetun is her former fellow. Um, yes. So I'm Florio Argilias. I'm a research associate at the Cornell Center for the Social Sciences. I've been at ISC, a member of ISC since 2010. And uh, my interest is actually on research reproducibility. And I have to exit in just about a few minutes, in one minute, actually, because I'm going to chair the very first session, which is on research reproducibility. So that's all. Thank you, everyone. I have to exit and prepare for that session. Bye. Thank you, Gloria. Yeah. And thank you, everybody, for playing along. Uh, I, I know it's a lot to put people on the spot. But that's the point, right? Like, like we got to get out of our comfort zones and we got to really connect with people, take advantage of what this opportunity really means. Um, so for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to kind of wrap things up a little bit, hopefully have a little bit of fun here and then get you ready with about five minutes to spare for the next session. Sounds good? All right. So I'm just going to share my screen one more time and then we will be wrapping up. All right, cool. So. So welcome, welcome in all the different languages I heard in different places. I think there's someone from Tokyo, University of Tokyo, uh, Nigeria, or Canada, the United States, but welcome in whatever language you speak. Um, it is really a pleasure for, 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 for us to be here together, even if it's in just a virtual space. Um, and as many people said, this is an international conference and we really miss getting together with different people, but we have all these different faces, different voices, uh, different languages all together in the same space to talk about really cool stuff. So I really appreciate that. So as we move forward, um, let's just wrap it up and I'm just gonna bring you some things that I think you should know, especially for the newbies at ISS. So I mentioned all the different places. You see some names kind of stand out, uh, Stanford, University of Toronto, Michigan, Minnesota, Carlton, uh, MIT, NYU, you know, fig shares here, shout out to everybody. And I tried to put all the names in this word cloud. It is really hard to read, but there's a lot. There's a lot of us. So just a heads up. All right. Um, I asked the question about how long have you been an ISIS member? And um, there are quite a few new people here. So for those new people, welcome to ISIS. You're with a really cool group. I hope you stick around. Even if you move institutions, ISIS is here for you. Um, it is a really nice place to be. Uh, and, and since I've joined, I've tried to attend every single one. And I really, it's one of my favorite conferences for the year. So for the sake of the new folks, I just wanna touch on some things real quick. Um, let's talk about what ISIS is so that you know. Um, it, is, it was founded in 1974 around technology and data services that support research and teaching. It's about 450, probably close to 500 members, given the new push with this new structure and people have paid to be members and it was actually cheaper to become a member and then add on. So I think the, numbers, the membership has grown. So that's good. There is a peer reviewed pu publication called ISS Quarterly. So if you actually want to submit, that's one thing that you can use after you present. You can talk a little bit about that. So shout out to the team that runs that. And the first conference 
was held in 1977. I think it was in uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida. I think I think so, but someone can correct me if I'm wrong. And then the most recent in person was in Sydney, Australia. I shouted out that already. Um, if you ever went whale watching in Sydney, amazing swing swimming in the Great Barrier Reef, also amazing. Shout out to the team there. Yeah. All right. Um, talking about Australia, uh, we had that was our kickoff session, like. Uh, how to maximize your your session. I would have loved to do a selfie, but maybe we'll do it later sometime uh, in the week because we don't have time, um, but hopefully we get there. And on the right, you would see two of our celebrities. That is Data Jeff with the hat, ICPSR's mascot, and that is Washington from Odom Institution. Institution. Um, they were together at, on the boat, chilling and they're our local celebrities. So shout out to Washington and Data Jeff. If you see them around, I assist, tell them I say, hey. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how to make the most of your conference. Um, get to know people, get to know people, get to know people. If you need to connect, send them a message. Now is the best time because it is uh, virtual. So you have instant access to a lot of people. Um, if they respond, great. If they don't respond, also great because people are busy, but this is the way to connect. We have a Slack, um, a Slack uh, channel as well. We can put that in the chat or put that in the conference information. We want to keep people connected. Even at this virtual space, the conference is not just about sitting into presentations and learning about stuff. It is the people. So I'm always gonna fully support that. Be present. That's another thing. In virtual spaces like Zoom, it's easy to go to sleep or get distracted and do other things. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it. Um, and it's the case where people don't have their cameras on because they're multitasking and doing other things. This is a conference. And in the conferences, you want to be there and learn and interact as much as you can. So if you can, and your job allows you to do that, take the time and actually experience the conference as if it was a conference and not just some background noise. It is going to be really helpful if you just be present. Um, third, beyond the conference, don't just figure out this is the only time to connect and learn about things. Um, things will be recorded. Uh, you want to think maybe what's going to happen next year. How can I stay in touch with ISIS? This is the way how you do it. This conference, reach out to the Stephanies. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to San. Um, say, I really like what you all are doing. How can I help? Uh, fourth, participation is optional, but not really. This is just how it works. Like this conference is not about sitting back and, and chilling. It's about really connecting and interacting and being a strong member of the, the space. So yeah, it's optional. Yes, that's what they say, but not really, not really. No. Uh, and then finally, questions, 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 questions. If you have, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Ask your questions, connect with people. Don't feel embarrassed to, to, to have a question that you may not know the answer to because someone else may have the same question. Do not, do not hesitate, just connect. And we have those frequently asked questions and we have the ask anything, use it to your advantage. Let's keep going. Um, what to attend? Like I said, there's multiple different things. There's all the sessions, there's birds of feather, there's a poster session, special interest group, lightning talks. There's a ton of different things. Pick what makes sense for you, but don't be, don't feel like that's the only time that you have. Some of these things are gonna be recorded so you can actually see even if you attend one conference, one presentation versus another one that was scheduled at the same time. All right, I have 10 minutes. Okay, good. So as you know, I'm a new dad. So I have to do a little bit of jokes, dad jokes. Okay, so, oh God, oh God, this is gonna be embarrassing. Okay, so question. What do sprinters eat before a race? And you think, what do sprinters do before a race? And by sprinters, those are the people who, who run and do all these. Fast food, ooh, someone said fast food, nice. Let me see if I can get it back, okay. Fast food, welcome, pasta. It's actually not fast food because that will give them the runs. They actually eat nothing. They fast. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. I, I only have a few. All right. When does a dad, when does the joke become a dad joke? <laughs> I know, I know, I, I, I can't, I can't. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes apparent. 
<laughs> okay, okay, last one, last one, last one, last one. And this one is good for, for ISIS. All right. Do you know where I store my dad jokes? This is perfect. A database, yes! <laughs> yeah, and a data store. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> okay, okay. Last, last but not least, I have one last thing that I want to share with all, and I'm just going to... Uh, stop sharing, and I'm going to put this on a data repository. <laughs> um, this is called Would You Rather. So for people who are able, can you please put on your camera? This is actually going to be really cool, and I'm hoping you can you can sh kind of uh, work with me here. Um, if you can put on your camera, that would be great. What we're going to do is we're going to play a game called Would You Rather. And Would You Rather is very simple. Um, we're going to give you two options. And if you choose the first option, you just hold up to the screen and put finger one. If you choose the second option, two. That's it. One or two. Great data jokes. <laughs> I know I'm looking at the chat. Okay. So I'm just going to ask a few questions just to get to know people and break the ice here. Okay. First question is, would you rather, one, talk to dogs or two, talk to plants? Ooh, I think we have a little bit of a split here. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well done. Well done. You guys, you guys are with me here. Okay. Second question. Would you rather be forced to sing along with every song that you hear or dance to every song that you hear? Sing or dance? Oh. We gotta mix. Sing one, dance two. Alex, you're, you're kind of on the fence there. <laughs> all right, all right. Last question is, would you rather spend a week in the forest or spend one night in a real haunted house? So one, spend a week in the forest or two, in a real haunted house. A lot of people are choosing the forest. I don't like bugs. <laughs> awesome. Thank you all for playing Would You Rather. Um, it was a blast spending time with you. And as I, as I usually do with every single event, I started off with music. I'm going to end with music. I had a team work with me in my home country, Trinidad, and they produced this song for us. Um, it's a really popular song. They've done it. And I asked them to do a live one for us and they went all out and they did all the production. Um, and I, it's a group called Free, Freetown Collective. Um, they're, two of them are actually my cousins, so shout out to them. And I wanted to start and end with music. So I hope you enjoy. And here is Freetown Collective. Please enjoy the conference. All right, everyone, and we are one minute away from 10 o'clock, which is the next session. So we are going to go ahead and say thank you so much for attending our opening session, and we will see you all in the next session.